in this video I'm going to talk about the statistics uh, element and to preview the elements simply go to elements and look out for the statistics right here so as you can see this is a uh, Actually, the background uh, belong the background sign uh, side uh, belongs to the section, and the element itself is this part right here. As you can see, you can have uh, several icons with some uh, texts and uh, splitting splitting uh, splitting right line right here. Uh, We've chosen to use this element for uh, statistics and that's why we called it like this. As you can see this icon represents something like uh, 25,000 uh, code lines only this month, uh, 150 launch project uh, represented by a rocket which is uh, launching. Sorry. Uh, then we have uh, 9900 9, of uh, coffee cups this year. I know a lot of coffee, right? And uh, then we have uh, 180 uh, reviews and r ratings. So let me just uh, uh, edit this page with the page builder and let's study its. Uh, its options so as you can see here our force of our first option is the uh, style uh, style selector and by default normal uh, placement is uh, selected now in case you're wondering what this mean uh, well um, as you can see each icon is uh, lined lined up in the same uh, side of the of this bar right here and if I choose odd it will be switched as you can see the icon uh, this one remained the same while this one moved the icon here and the text here icon here text here and text here and icon here it's just a I don't know a fun display of the it's supposed to be a fun uh, a fun element to use uh, for your website so then we have the text theme color option which uh, basically says if you're going to use a dark background make sure you're using a light uh, text or color for a uh, this element. So that's because of course you want to have a strong contrast between the background and the uh, uh, text. So if I were to choose dark you can see that the texts are dark. So of course dark must be used with a light, uh, with a light uh, background while while light color with uh, dark background so then we have the the uh, bar color as you can see it's a live option we can change its color you can change it to the green for example and then we have the uh, icon sizes so this is a general preset we can make the icons uh, as big as 200 in uh, font size or smaller so tiny that you can barely see them so it's up to you which one you consider it's uh, better looking for um, for uh, your website and this particular element so moving on this is the uh, dynamic list of um, statistics, st statistics you can uh, you can add so you can delete them as you can see we have four four right here 
you can delete them you can uh, move them around uh, sort them you can clone them if you just want to move faster with just changing the data and I'm going to edit the first one so as you can see I move them around so the first one is now the cups of coffee uh, of this year with the uh, 9900 uh, as a number so you can change this to whatever you want we can uh, change the text and we can uh, change the uh, the icon but first you have to specify whether you want uh, an image as an icon type and you can browse for the image uh, icon right here I personally only use uh, SVG for um, for uh, icons because they're higher resolution, they're vectorial, and they can accept a huge range a huge range of uh, details. But um, since I have already uh, a few um, font families loaded, I will just select uh, icon font. So you can see here we can choose any icon we want. We have this, uh, sorry, we have this uh, glyph icons loaded by default into the theme. We have this uh, social icons right here. And lastly, we have the custom uh, icon font. You, uh, you, uh, you can use them. In case you're wondering how to add uh, new icons, just go to the dashboard onto your uh, WordPress installation, Kalias options, and advanced options. And here you can find this icon font uploader tool. You can, um, I won't uh, explain about this one because there's an uh, there's, um, entire video about this feature. And uh, I highly recommend uh, uh, looking at this video on how to load your own custom uh, custom font. So back to the element. Uh, let's say I want to choose this icon right here, and I'm going to save them. So as you can see, the coffee cups has mo been moved here. I changed the text. I changed the icon. Uh, pretty much it's a customizable element with uh, some cool uh, cool display now to add the elements simply uh, open uh, search here for the statistics element and as you can see it here and drag it onto the canvas now uh, don't actually use it into um, without a section because it will appear as a full width so um, I don't know perhaps it looks good it fits your idea it's up to you actually but you can just create a section and place place the statistics element into this uh, this element so uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask me and if you are having troubles with the element uh, feel free to subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one